Welcome to Tekken 5. My name's Christina, and this is your weekly download. Thanks so much, everybody, for tuning in to this episode of Tekken 5. As you know, we're talking about innovations in technology, and we're big fans of what's happening in the manufacturing industry. Witham is also a very big player in the cannabis industry um, in terms of providing professional services. Because of this, we've brought on Cody Ziering, the founder of Pack Case and Packaging, to talk about some of the innovations around hemp plastic manufacturing. There's been some, some misnomers and some confusion in this space, and so Cody's really going to help us understand how that works in the cannabis industry today and, and what innovations are available in manufacturing. Cody, over to you. Thanks, Christina. I appreciate that. Hey, everyone. My name is Cody Ziering. I'm the founder of Pack Case and Packaging, where we lead the industry in pre-roll packaging and accessories. Now, it's funny that you had brought up hemp plastics and kind of the, the misnomers around them. Everyone seems to be so gung-ho about hemp plastic, but in our company's research, trying to develop new products and use new materials, we found that we are only able to use about 30% worth of hemp when creating a rigid plastic like we do for our products. What in turn that means is that you end up coming out with a product that's 30% hemp and 70% plastic, but really means that not a single plastic recycling center can actually accept them, nor can you compost this. By composting it, you're still leaving 70% of plastics in the ground. Now, what we did didn't sit well with me that we produced so much plastic and that the industry as a whole produces so much plastic with so much single-use plastic out there. So what I decided to do was convert, about a year and a half ago, convert my entire company's product line into a material we invented called Ocean Pure. And Ocean Pure is a combination of reclaimed ocean plastic we take out of the ocean and mix it with a new bioadditive that helps reduce the degradation time by up to 10x. Essentially, what you can say that Pack Case is doing is taking plastic out of the ocean and keeping it out. The reason we like ocean plastic so much is that it's a non-new input material. So if you're making something out of virgin plastics, that means you have to use petroleum to create new plastics to make this. Instead, what we found is that we can use plastic that's already out there in the world, reconvert it into something that's useful, something that's durable, and something that doesn't get thrown away. But if it does, it will re you know, degrade much, much faster than a normal plastic. And as such, we've removed over 100,000 pounds of plastic so far and plan on doing much, much more in the future. That's very interesting to hear. I didn't know that you had such an impact in, in biodiversity and sustainability. Um, I am an avid sailor. I love the ocean, grew up in the Caribbean. So hearing anything that has to do with conserving our environment is really important to me. So thanks for sharing that. However, I have had a chance to to work with you know some of your cases and and meet your team in person. I'd love to hear how you're doing some innovation around the manufacturing process itself. There must be some issues that you've had to work through with using an innovative raw material to to make your cases. You know, it's that's a great question and it hasn't gone without its hiccups. Our products because the cannabis industry requires everything for the most part to be in child resistant containers, there's very fine balances. The good news about working with ocean plastics is that they very much behave just in the same like a polypropylene virgin plastic. So more or less, it's a one-to-one -one same material. But when developing something in my business, it's always a compromise between quality and innovation versus cost to produce. Five years ago, the industry was very hopped up on having innovation, new product ideas, and everyone wanted to be individualized. What we've seen now over the last three, four years is that the market has begun to conglomerate and these much bigger companies are much more concerned with bottom line, which typically means that uh, quality and innovation have gone out the window uh, in favor of cost of goods, lowering your cost of goods as much as possible. So we are in an interesting position where we still find cannabis companies that are, you know, having a premium quality product is important to them. And that's why they end up packaging with us. There, you will see a lot of companies start to downgrade their packaging. And as a result, the quality of their products are going to go down with it too. And that's going to be a big change in the marketplace real soon. Yeah, I can see that that would be the case. And of course, you know, scaling a business, it comes with a lot of caveats and con um, markers to take con into consideration, including cost of production. I think one of the things that also stands out to me about your your product is the, the amount of work that you've done into developing um, final products. So you've really paid a lot of attention to 
um, preserving the humidity level of the product that's inside, as well as making it child resistant, as well as making it adult friendly. Um, Cause you know, sometimes child resistant cases can be not very adult friendly um, as well. And I think you have a few patents, anything you want to add to that? No, it's true. Uh, product and development is a long-term thing. There's a ton of people on our team that do that. Um, Right now we have one designer who is absolutely fantastic and I love him because I can kind of spit out some idea that I have or a really bad little doodle on a new uh, piece of paper and uh, our designer Alan ends up turning it into a beautiful uh, 3D file and then ends up printing it and going through the whole prototyping process. So I'm very lucky to have a talented team with me to help me come up with both the ideas and the actual designs. Um, Keep an eye out because we have some really cool stuff coming out in the future and we're expanding just beyond pre-rolls. We will soon be in concentrate, vape, edible, and flower packaging soon too. Oh, I love that. Um, so great segue into the next couple of weeks. Will you be at MJ BizCon in Las Vegas? You know we will. Booth 10,531, <laughs> I believe. We're definitely in the 10,000. So if you're in Vegas, come, uh, <laughs> come hang with us. We uh, would love to show you all of our new stuff. Love it. Well, with them is coming out in full force. We certainly will have um, several of our uh, technology and software consultants um, at the event, as well as um, our accounting and uh, team professional services. So if you want to connect with, with them, uh, any of our viewers will be in Las Vegas. Uh, that's November 15th through 18th, more or less. And yep. um, and Cody will be there too with Fat Case and Packaging. So I'm excited to see. Will you have any of those new, new products available for people mm -hmm. to look at? You know we will. We have prototypes already in the mail on the way. I love it. I love it. Cody, well, I can't wait to catch up with you in Las Vegas really soon. And thank you so much for joining Tech and Five today and uh, sharing your, your, um, your vision and mission with all of our viewers. Um, I look forward to seeing what happens in the future. We'll have you back for sure. Thanks, Christine. I really appreciate it. Listeners, thanks for listening. Give us a look. Packcase.com. P-A-Q-C-A-S-E.com. Fantastic. Thanks so much, Cody.